Hi, I'm Mark with the Headman Performance Group, and I remember not too long ago driving out to Devor, California with our 1964 Ford Falcon to do some testing with Popular Hot Rod Magazine. Now, it didn't take long before the car started demonstrating some problems. What it turned out to be after a little investigative work and tearing apart the, the carburetor was that the heat from the, uh, the engine was traveling through the intake manifold right up to the carburetor and boiling away the fuel. Now that means that it was stalling and not restarting. So after waiting until it cooled down and uh, getting it back to the, the factory, the very next day we installed one of these spacers. Now, a carburetor spacers aren't new to Transdap. We've actually have them all the way back to our 1967 catalog, which is what I is right here. And this is actually uh, in our archives, is a uh, catalog from 1967 that one of our techs was using on the phone. So you see, it got quite a bit of use. No computers back then. Um, now, this is a slightly different spacer. It's not a typical carburetor spacer as you know it. It has swirl torque uh, slots in it, and uh, Unlike an EFI spacer, which is a dry system, carburetors are, are a wet system, so you have air and fuel going into the, uh, into the intake manifold and into the engine, and the droplets of fuel tend to be droplets and not a small vapor, which a vapor burns better and quicker and uh, more thoroughly. So these uh, create a vortex that uh, increase the atomization of the fuel and actually uh, have been tested and proven to create a better fuel uh, or combustion efficiency. Uh, testing showed an increase of 18 foot-pounds of torque on a 302 uh, Ford motor. It went from 296 without the spacer to uh, 314 with the spacer with no additional tuning. Um, now the, the guys at PHR said that with some additional tuning that we probably would have gotten more power than that 18 foot-pounds of torque. Um, now, we also make these in, in the basic cast alumina, as a cattle, uh, we offer a, a wide range of spacers, but going back to my initial story, uh, these spacers here will pre prevent the heat from transferring to your carburetor, and if we had one of these spacers on the Falcon that day, we would have no problem. And at 104 degrees, it would have been running like it was 60. Um, we have one inch and two inch spacer versions. We have with and without PCB valves. Um, and if you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 562-921-0404 or check us out online at www.tdperformance.com.